Today we're talking about a weird looking Mexican water monster that can regrow limbs. The problem though, it hasn't been seen in a while. Hi, this is Annie for DNews. Mexico is home to a certain water monster, more cute than it sounds, and even more rare. This smiley little guy is related to salamanders, but unusual because it's aquatic with gills, but considered an amphibian. They can also regenerate limbs, which make them really useful for research purposes. Not to mention helping to make the axolotl a little bit of a cult celebrity, with characters in Animal Crossing and Pokemon based on them. In Aztec times, they were so plentiful that they were eaten as food and believed to be shape-shifting gods. But owing to urbanization, the axolotl is considered critically endangered. A survey in 2008 turned up only 100 left in the wild, and in 2013, a four-month survey found zero. There are still some in captivity, but it doesn't look great for these guys in their natural habitat, Lake Xochimilco, near Mexico City. They're considered critically endangered, but not yet extinct. Fully extinct animals include the famous dodo, the flightless bird that was once hunted by Dutch sailors in the 16th century. But extinction is not always the result of human behavior. Based on fossil records, scientists estimate that most species have an average average lifespan of about 10 million years. However, industrialization, habitat loss, and in some cases, hunting have accelerated this. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature classifies species as anywhere from vulnerable to critically endangered to completely extinct based on the threats facing them. But with conservation efforts, there have been some success stories. Reports of big cats like the lynx returning to prior habitats in Europe, for example, and some surprises like the first sighting in 800 years of a wild beaver reported recently in England. Those were thought to be hunted off in the wild centuries ago. So is there any hope for the axolotl? They're not considered extinct yet. Researchers are doing another survey in early February, which is their mating season, and are hoping for a different result. As always, you can talk back to the show on Twitter. And by the way, we recently did some Twitter changes that might have kicked some of you off our follows, so be sure to re-follow us at DNews. And you can find me on Twitter too, at Annie Gauss. Thanks for watching, see you next time.